Hello everyone, Sri Ram here. Thanks all for joining here on a great Friday. Good Friday. Good to see you all on this good occasion. And uh, this one hour we're going to use to learn about PMP, some key subject and how to solve this. First of all, thanks to all the viewers, a lot of inputs about getting to new subjects, learning questions, doubts, can I clear this? Lot coming up. Straight on here. Thanks all. They're all right. I'm looking at some of the questions in the beginning. Fine, great. Um, thanks a lot uh, for all your um, inputs in the sense of uh, more ask towards uh, subjects in PMP in 2021. So what happened is in 2021, a lot of changes came in. So definitely people are a little more uh, confused. Is the PMP pretty tough? So we have to mention that, no, it's not tough. It's one of the exam in the market, which is doable. Okay, I repeat the word, it's doable. It's not tough as people portrait because uh, we have many tougher exams than this PMP. And again, it has its own standard. I don't use the word tough, I use the word standard. When we give a little amount of focus towards a subject, it's highly possible to achieve. That's what this exam is all about. Little dedication, little focus, we can do that. So what we're going to do is, um, let's take a couple of questions in the beginning. And the moment the questions goes through, I'll be opening up the subject, one of the subject about how to choose methodology for projects. It's one of the tasks in PMP exams. Uh, we have a lesson to talking about starting the project in that there is a place called how to choose methodology. Is it the predictive, adaptive, agile model? Just for understanding those information. And we'll see how to solve exam questions. That's a toughest area. As people keep telling, okay, Sriram, I'm good reading the subject. When it comes to solving the question, oh man, it's getting pretty tough, right? Those areas you look into. Uh, once again, thanks for the people who recommended, Shiram, can you take this subject for the day? So this is going to be a program which is happening every Fridays, and it's going to be every Friday, 8 to 9 a.m. IST, which covers for uh, Asia as well, U.S. region, also Arab. That will be good timing for them to listen to ours. So you have a, if you have any more topics, leave up your comments here. So we are going to cover the topic which you ask or the Friday session. So this Friday session is purely meant for you. The topics which you feel, man, this is tough. Can you explain this more? We will take that as a subject, right? We'll talk about it. Good, with this, we'll get inside. Uh, one of the question I keep hearing from people around is, uh, um, how many books I have to read for this examination? Do I need to read only Pembok? Do I need to read Rita? Do I need to read other authors? We have many authors telling that, read only my book, you will clear the examination. Can I believe on that? Uh, answer to that is, it's purely your, your ability. Uh, there are some people who read one book once, get the message, right? But some of us who don't have a book reading habit for a long time, maybe like me, I don't read books much early days, now I do that. Um, it happens a little tougher for a person to read once and get the subject. So for those people, what they do is they want to read the book two times. But if you read the same book two times, you get a little bored because same content, you get a little tired and bored. So what they do is they get a different flavor from other authors to get the hold of the subject. If not, even if you read one time, either of the book PEMBOK or maybe read our 10th edition, sufficient enough with information. Now this information, what we get there, and that should be converted into exam. Jump, that's where the problem, man. We know the subject, but when it comes to exam question, it's getting tougher to solve. Um, many a time this problem happens. The primary reason is our own experience overtake us. In the sense, it starts beating you. Man, this is the real life problem what you face. The book saying is something wrong. Some of the students keep asking, um, what is a practical way of solving this? Shri book says this, what is a practical? But actually what the thing is, what book says is perfectly right. Because a book says from the winning projects, which we say 
um, 25 percent of the projects which stay successful the essence is taken out of these successful projects and the books are made when we use the word practical maybe we worked on some of the failure projects which it does not meet customer satisfaction which it does not deliver it on time which does not meet the costing which does not handle the risk factor properly so now when we go through these kind of projects and we think that's practical may be wrong that's where the exam gets a little tougher i'll repeat again pmp is not a tough exam it's a doable exam you and me easily clear this exam only thing needed is you have to understand the standard of pmi you have to understand the language of pmi you have to understand the way of reading questions that's it it's doable in few weeks of time right with this let me see is there any more questions okay okay i'm seeing some more uh, ask from the people here in the sense which chapters we have to read in the beginning or which chapters to start with for the examination a recommendation here is you may not able to consume all the subject at the one shot you may need a little time to digest things for that reason i would expect you to go to pembok 6th edition go first one two and three chapters which sets a basement for your project management understanding so what is basement of course any project has a time cost risk involved but beyond that there is something called organizational framework there is something called a uh, matrix organization or something hierarchy of organization and there is something called a strategy there is something called portfolio there is something called enterprise environmental factors uh, these are chapters which you have to read through uh, you know why i should read man your project comes in uh, money is given time is there people are around just i'll do my work if you say that i have to tell you it's fine if you are a small level manager you're doing pmp one of the best certificate in the market which is equivalent to come of the best reputed mba so the exam will expect you to have a broader knowledge not a narrow knowledge you know you mean it's a narrow knowledge when you read only about project management yes a little narrow we should be a little broader understand what is a business strategy why a business is happening where the project will fit in the organization what is the role of the project manager so these are things which you learn in the first three chapters don't hunt for multiple authors in this world pembok 6th edition amazing book they have clearly explained in the first three chapters all the basics still if you don't understand the language then go for some other author and read it that's sufficient or google and read what is the role of project manager little bit fine now why i ask you to read this is because some of the questions i saw people asking is where to read how to start the first best thing to start is start with understanding the basics of organization and things around the organization which makes a project to work when you do that you get the flow why we are reading project management then now you start to read the project management that will be more sensible you will feel some connection there in case you are more than 15 or 20 years experienced person you may know this knowledge already for you directly you can start reading what is about stakeholders what is about people what is about the communication path they use this can be the good chapters to start with because this is a prime area of a project management people and people related communication and management um most of my classes i mean the online classes which i conduct i used to start with first chapter is stakeholder management this is not new years back i used to do that uh what i felt is when we start a project it's not about money time it's about people the more we understand the people around us better we handle a project this is the thought process from the day one and now we to see pmp 2021 they make it very clear the first lesson is creating a high performing team it means people are pretty important okay okay that's interesting question let me see any more questions okay you are welcome to put your question in um, our chat window in youtube 
where I can take your questions one by one, right? Uh, okay, Suresh is putting a question. Shinam, according to you, which are the top important five chapters? Suresh, okay, I'll take it like this. You are going to read all the chapters, okay? On that, you're asking top five. Uh, why I'm putting is, it shouldn't be that, okay, I heard only five chapters are important, the rest will be ignored, no. Okay, when I say five chapters, as per me, I always give importance to people and people related factors. So I'll always start with stakeholder and resource management are pretty important. First two things. And later, I want you to understand about the scope of the project, including the current model of product backlog. Understand the detail of the work, what needs to be done. So the more you understand people, the more you understand the resource factor, the more understand about the requirement detail, rest all starts branching out. In fact, in the classes, the flow goes like this. The moment you understand the requirements, that is scope of the project, the product backlog of the project, now you are in a position to tell that how much of time it will take schedule management, how much of cost it can incur, what is the risk involved in this project, how much of procurement can be done. Right, So it starts branching down. So answer your question, please start with stakeholder and resource handling very well. Then understand the requirement of the project. Hit a little more extra on schedule, cost, and risk management. Shalom, I asked five, you are telling six. <laughs> I want you to read all, but these areas are pretty uh, broader and also important in project management, right? Don't ever miss risk management because it is not for exam. I see that in real life. For information, I'm working in a corporate, right? So I see people, managers who don't anticipate risk in the project, who cannot think of forecasting the risk. I would expect that to be part of your learning. Great, that's a question from Suresh. Okay, other question I'm seeing in the chat. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, okay. There's a question from Pradeep. Uh, either task-wise or chapter-wise, prepare for exam. Book to buy chapter. Okay, there is some question. Pradeep, I understand your question. Like you're asking, can I go by ta task-wise or read chapter-wise? Uh, okay, this confusion is happening from Jan 2nd, 2021. Early days, we don't have this confusion. The reason is early days. Uh, it was just said knowledge area. Start preparing the knowledge area, you clear the exam. So people read one by one, 13 chapters, and then prepare for 49 process sheet and learn the flow of it. Uh, some people question, can I memorize ITTOs or not? It happened up and down, somehow they'll go for the examination. But now what happened is PMI with the new exam content outline have said we have 36 tasks to go. Now, the question is, that read 36 tasks? But I will tell that these knowledge areas or chapters are the superset and the tasks are subsets. It means when you read these chapters or you call us a knowledge area, it internally covers all these tasks without explicitly mentioning, I'm covering this, I'm covering that. No, it's there already. So recommendation to you, Pradeep, or everybody who want to read the books, please read the books of PMBOK or Rita 10th edition as per the chapters what they're given. It in turn take care of whatever you want to learn task. Few things may be not there, like a compliance related, right? Uh, those information we have to hunt here and there and read. That's the reason in our classes, we cover those areas specifically. So if you can take notes, that's pretty enough to cover those area. If not for a question, please read knowledge or chapter of what is asked for the books. It will in turn cover all these areas. Hope that helps you. Okay, other question from Sudeep. Uh, how to map task-wise and chapter-wise content? Started reading chapter-wise as most of the books are chapter-wise, but from 2021, I'm hearing it is. I think I answered you to this Sudeep as well. I don't try to map it, not needed. If you learn that internally, you will learn this. That's how it works. So it's something like you uh, you learn a superset of information which covers whole segment of 360 degree internet covers it. But how to map it, Sriram? Uh, when you say map it, in people, the first lesson, 
creating high performing team you cannot tell line by line in the books but you can get a feel that it is talking about stakeholders and resource so what is stakeholder resource stakeholders is a superset again another superset which has all the people in a project including myself in the project it could be third party vendor it could be small organizations all participate in that resource or people who are part of your project that's a team members so when you read that you will understand what is the ground rules you will understand how to do negotiation you will understand how to do the learning cycle for the team members it's all part of it you may not need to read it separately by the way when you go with the classes i believe you will get something called a study plan when we give the study plan what we do is we give those tasks and the relevant chapters where you have to read please refer the study plan if you got that already in the column last column you will see the list of chapters which you have to read for this task okay that helps i believe great good to see ah uh, thanks for posting the questions here in the chat it's pretty interesting so what i do is let me uh, get to a chapter to talk about for the day that is choosing the right methodology for the project and then we'll take few exam questions how to crack this questions right meantime keep posting your questions in the chat window in youtube we'll be happy to answer your questions right let's move aha uh -huh. okay okay oh before i go one more question <laughs> suresh is putting another question what's your one month aggressive strategy to clear pmp3 suresh you yourself has a word aggressive <laughs> by the word you say aggressive i assume you are going to stay one month at home read 8 to 10 hours per day if you do that highly possible but i will tell you don't excuse this exam like that because this is an exam you have to enjoy and clear it the more you enjoy and clear it the subject stays with you for a long time i don't want somebody to tell i cleared pmp that's it i got 10% hike no you should learn it with a uh, good understanding okay i assume suresh you have good amount of experience in the industry if that's a case if you want to go faster possible how possible it is uh, you have to read at least one book fully which book you prefer the language what you like you prefer read that book one fully take at least full exams four full exams that's a decent exam to go to the main exams but remember full exams you should cross at least 70% at least 70 right that's important yes so suresh it's possible one month it's possible but my recommendation is don't do that have some time for yourself to read yeah um boo, boo, boo. one more question how much percentage of numerical questions considered in new pattern uh, for information pmi never declares how much on the numerical how much on that stuff they only they say predictive adaptive that's how they say numerical uh, in the month of january and february not much questions in the month of march we heard that one two three questions started coming in they here and there that to direct question of evm formula straight away this is a formula this is the answer that's how it is but we know pmi they'll slowly increase the standard so i'm expecting in a couple of months they may add a few calculations but for your information the new way of project management or the new model now everything is systemized automated if that's a case do we really need a mathematics that's a question but understanding the basics are important so pmi may ask one or two questions here and there that's for sure so no percentage there uh ha 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 vivek is asking about matrix organization good thanks vivek for putting that point so um as i said earlier put your topics which you want to be covered we will definitely take it on friday sessions um the process is we take your inputs which is subject you want to listen from us so that will be your friday classes thanks vivek we will take this point um okay there is another question pmi registration for exams and time frame for preparation for my exam time up uh, so the so the we'll cover it up in um, um, in our discussion probably we can reach out over with our team we'll talk about how to do registration a quick information everything happens through pmi.org in pmi.org we have a place where you have to book for your examination before you go for examination first you have to fill your application process we will guide you as you go through the classes now let's get to the subject 
Okay, good. Keep posting your questions. Uh, don't hesitate to ask questions. I'm going to bring up some subject for you so that we learn something today. Uh, okay. Okay, there is a question. One more thing. Do I need to memorize ITTOs? Uh, you know what? This question I would have heard many, many times. And uh, yes, it's very nature. Even I used to ask this question in the beginning days. To answer the question, no, no need to memorize. Then how to learn Shriram without memorizing? Uh, Shriram, you know what? I memorize uh, where the sugar box at my home. I memorize where is the keychain at the home. Uh, I memorize uh, which switches for tube light, which switches for geyser. I, I know that. I memorize it. Okay, if you say that, um, it's not memorizing. You understand conceptually. A water geyser or a heater will be near the washroom. You know that, right? Uh, you know that the key will be somewhere in the living room. It's a concept. So, you know, that is crazy, man. You're telling it's concept. It's not concept. I memorize it. There's a slight clash here. Uh, something that, that's memorizing, actually not memorizing. When the power goes off at home, dark room, I ask you to search something. You will not search by memorizing. You will search by conceptually. You'll know that that room of kitchen should be there. In this kitchen, definitely you'll have something, candle, light, something will be there. Even if I drop you to the home where you don't even see in this room, you know only there is a kitchen. That's what you know. Still, you'll go there and get it. Human brain works conceptually really well than memorizing. I'm not saying memorizing is bad. It's good. Do it. But ITT was a pretty broad. Too many items are there. As a human being, you cannot memorize it. Also not needed. PM, I want to know, do you know where is kitchen? And do you know that in kitchen, there is a possibility of a lighter there? Okay. PM, I want to know that. PM, I don't want to know, do you know by memory that is kitchen, that is light? No. Why? Because PM, I do like that. Why PM, I do like that? The reason is today you memorize and clear the examination. Tomorrow, a real situation comes. You may not able to solve that problem because your memory will fade away. When you have a conceptual knowledge, it will stay with you. Any place I drop you, you know that there will be a lighter, there will be a kitchen, there will be something like this. So the concept stays with you. So I answer your question, please don't try to memorize. It's not possible. PMI does not recommend you to memorize. They want you to understand what is decomposed in work breakdown structure. They want you to understand what is called brainstorming. What are the places we can use brainstorming effectively, right? They want to understand, do you know fishbone diagram? How to utilize this fishbone in a place, in a quality or in decision making? So they want to know, do you understand that? There they stop. Hope that helps you. So what I do is uh, I should bring up some content for you to the day because uh, many people ask, you know, can you talk this topic? So for you, the topic is coming. Here we go. Here we go. Hope you see the screen. And in the screen, um, what I'm bringing today. Okay, for your benefit, um, this class, I'm going to talk about lesson two. This is on starting the project. Uh, when start the project, there are a lot of thoughts. How to determine the appropriate methodology? By the way, this is one of the tasks in PMI exam content outline, that is PMP exam content outline. We have 36 tasks. In this, I took one of the tasks that is determine appropriate project methodologies, methods, and practices. Is it a tough topic? No, actually, it's an easy topic. But at the same time, it depends on how do you understand it. Uh, we get people from a different uh, walk of life in the sense, uh, some may be um, predictive nature, some may be working adaptive nature. It means construction industry, some may be in IT industry. Now the question is, uh, which method to use? Hmm? What do you mean which method to use, Sheila? Any method we can use. If you ask me 25, 30 years back, people did not worry about methodology. People are worried about results. Can I deliver it? That's where they stop. But over a period, what happened is uh, the delivery started getting delayed. Uh, customer satisfaction ratio started dropping down. There the question came, do we need to think some other way of delivering it? So in 1960, 70, 80, this is a time when they started thinking, can we do another way of delivery model? So that is where whatever you're learning today is coming in. So PMI does not pick up just like that. They even digested for years. 
to see will this be beneficial right that's how it happened uh, so now you are in an industry where you can choose methodology you can question me man without choosing can i not win the project it's not like that uh, if i take example of my grandfather he did a business for a long time i don't know he read any books of management he did a good job right so you may have your relative somebody your friend somebody who did not know anything about management did a good job it's not mandatory that you have to do this then only you'll get the knowledge but when you learn this you become consistent on your deliverables consistent on your success once in a blue moon you won't do success you will get success consistently that is where the subject comes in right let's go we'll talk about some of the projects here uh, by the way the subject talking about determining the appropriate method when you say determine first of all you have to understand the work nature then only you can determine it so uh, you can look at some pictures here okay and these pictures will give you a grip that we have variety of model of projects here shiram you say projects but you have us election there you have uh, cs canal what happened there lot are here yes this is also a part of project are a project us election is a project which can be predictive plus adaptive nature you can have a covid medicine which is happening now could be a combination of both right or could be purely predictive if you go to software industry mostly it will be of uh, uh, iterative that is an adaptive nature things keep changing you can see one oil rig at the gulf of mexico could be something which is very solid requirement detail which we do a uh, oil rig like that if if you observe the last few weeks of channel news which talks about a, a ship right ever given right or ever give up or talk about ever green the company which has such a massive massive ship went into sears canal and got stuck the canal breadth is around 380 meters and whereas the ship is around 400 meters and it tilted a little bit and went turn a little bit and got stuck i don't know how many of you follow this news if you observe the news it was pretty interesting and we started making fun in whatsapp and uh, facebook but look at the people who really worked on the ground to fix this issue it took 6 to 7 days for them to make it in the right track of course nature to support it full moon day came in high tides came in it little bit pushed people also put some effort it's a combination of both right in project management i call it as enterprise environmental factors eef around you so the full moon came water tide came a little high meantime they were digging more pulling out digging out all the mud so the ship slowly get into stable the water came in started floating many project works like this doesn't mean that we have to put all the effort we have to calculate and put an effort things will work so that's also part of a project the seven days a team worked which moved the flow float the ship furthermore it's a project for them possibly so predictive adaptive nature are very common in project management and now this is fine shiram and how to choose a project to predictive or adaptive it's purely on the customer front the customer decides majority of the methodologies can i go there or not right if you look at here uh, this picture will give some more details for you uh, if if you watch it here uh, you have certain detail on both horizontal and vertical axis what is this horizontal vertical if you see here on a work we look out the technology what we know look at the x axis here uh, this is technology known and this is technology unknown i mean what to do how to do right and uh, here requirements requirements can be clear requirements can be unclear these two factors can decide most of your model of project how to do that uh if both items are clear for example if the requirement is pretty clear for us what to do and for example the technology is pretty clear you get both are accumulated here which is a pretty decent place you know things what to do and this can go a simple model mostly the industry based system mostly of a manufacturing or could be of a construction but the details are pretty clear there they go for a waterfall model where the detail of what to do how to do both are clear enough uh now you can question me is it all the projects are like this not necessarily right some projects are clear like this some are not clear like this 
So the next stage, we have to move a little more where the, the, the requirement is not much clear. It's getting a little more complicated because of the social, political, and other background related details. Things keep changing. They're not clear about what to do. See, what is social and political? Will this play a role? Of course, it will play a role, right? Uh, you're not talking about the project only at your home. You're not talking about the project only at your corporate with the five, six people. We are talking about international market. We are talking about covering two, 205 countries, variety of projects. I showed you something about the Suez Canal. I spoke about the US election. I spoke about COVID medicine. Could be softer also. Now, multiple factors are there which decides the complication of things to do. At the same time, the technology factors, the technical complexity, in the sense of we, we, we don't know what is more needed, how to do that. Now, this can leave you here, which can fall in this category. Here, it's a mix of things. People do a haddock. You heard about a haddock, agile, and factors, where you mix this, mix that. Sometimes we don't know what to do. Here also, we move towards something on adaptive nature, right? right? Candidate for adaptive nature. Then comes a complex nature where there's still more the requirements are not clear. We have to do only in a progressive way, in the sense of iterative, repeatedly get some details. Progressively, you'll get the details. I don't have any clarity here. You do me some portion of the work, I will see that, give more clarity. It can happen. Technically, we have to do a lot of research. Did, did you say research? Yeah, there are many fields only through research you learn. If that's the case, I may not be able to hold all the work in advance, plan the risk for it, time for it, cost for it, people for it. No, I cannot. I have to wait for understanding and progressively keep adding and enabling my team. This is a place the market is talking, empower the team members. Don't rely on one person to do the work which can derail your system. I think it's, it's acceptable, I believe. When you believe and empower the team at this stage of complexity, the team decides mostly what they have to do because we are working with KW. You know, what is this KW? KW means knowledge workers. We are in this century working on knowledge workers. The knowledge workers are capable of understanding on a research capable of understanding technology, capable of understanding the requirements from the customer perspective. So that's a reason, okay, Scrum is one of the methodology. I'm not telling Scrum is the only thing, but Scrum can be a little better in the current market because it works in an iterative way. What is iterative? Repeatedly, until you get better, you keep work on that model. In the sense repeatedly get the requirements, repeatedly do research, repeatedly tune it until it gets better. Yeah, that, that's one point I want to talk. The point is, there's one more level above than this. Chaos, chaotic. Okay. It is a place very risky. There are certain projects, no clarity, even you go deeper or understand over a time period. Um, there are some recommendations. You can go for Kanban. Kanban means they pull the work only when it has a clarity. If not, they won't take the work. The work will be in the parking slot. Uh, Shiram Kanban is the best one. Kanban is one of the model, one of the agile model, which helps. Okay, by the way, with this picture, what I try to communicate is, when you want to choose a methodology or a method of a project, you should be aware, two parameter stands very important. The detail of the work, that is requirements and the technical factors, how we are going to do that. This can decide the simplicity or complexity or how complicated it's going to be. Okay, this, this decides the major of the stuff in the market. Okay, let's move a little more. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here it goes. Um, there is one other topic here which talks about, again, incremental and iterative model. In the methodology choosing, we may desire, we'll go with uh, predictive or adaptive. Imagine you want to go with adaptive nature where you get the details and start working accordingly. How you do. If it is a predictive, how you do. If you watch out here, um, how do you decide on the predictive adaptive? One more level down. When the degree of changes are low, when the frequency of delivery is low, you can go for predictive approach. Shiram, what is this all about? The degree of change, 
the degree of change means in some of the projects and nature is like this where the customer will see the prototype the customer will see the working model and then start giving more changes on the work completed or even before the work starts there will be a lot of fluctuation in the market telling that can we do this model or can we try this they'll have multiple options with them so the degree of changes are going to be pretty high and now the question is the moment you see the word change people are a little allergic oh man change no and that too if you read the books of pmp years back change is so much restricted but there is a reason behind that i'll tell you the reason there are days or there are certain projects changes are expensive in nature why changes are expensive there is a lot amount of rework going to happen if you touch something as a name of change if you touch something more amount of rework going to happen also the changes will cost a huge money why there can be a lot of waste of work there could be last of scrap if you imagine there is a construction work you want to demolish something and do a change the metal steel cement the number of hours people worked all gone the money gone sunk cost all going out so that's a primary reason changes were restricted not to do but we are living in a technology world the, the projects which we are talking uh, based on research and technology changes are doable the changes are not expensive right changes are not going to scrap anything or there's maybe rework is there for that's the reason they're bringing in automation into place the message here is that they find um, the change degree of change is going to be high we go for uh, iterative or incremental model at the same time why we accept change here is the expenses on the change is literally low comparing to predictive nature okay coming back here so when you see degree of change is going to be high in nature and the frequency of delivery is high in nature chances are we will go to agile model so what do you mean by changes are high the degree of changes are high means iterative repeatedly you get the requirements clarity requirement details so we move towards accepting more changes that is one side the other side is the degree of i um, mean the, the frequency of delivery there are certain projects where the customers expect us to deliver more frequently on a smaller chunk what is smaller chunk if i go to a restaurant sometime i can order all the food at one shot ask them to deliver or chances are i may order a list of items ask them to deliver one at the time so if i get one at the time i can taste it and give a feedback based on the feedback they can add more spice reduce the spice make it more tasty possible so there are depending on the project model there could be a incremental delivery happening so if there is a situation that you can accept more changes there is a situation there customer want deliverables in a small chunk we will go for agile agile model right now the question is people are fighting in the market or literally having a debate all predictive nature will go out we will do only agile the answer is no predictive nature is still existing it will continue for a long more years because still we have many projects of very predictive nature we know what we are going to do if i want to celebrate a birthday party for my parents i know very well they like this kind of cake it's going to happen in this venue there's a timeline i know very well in advance right certain things we know well in advance what is going to happen so i can go with a predictive nature or maybe a little addition to that we call as agile with the hybrid coming when predictive coming in it becomes a hybrid model right possible okay moving a little more oh oh let's go a little more i believe you are getting something on the methodology there are few words here to understand better for your examination purely for examination right so predictive nature what we do here is a fixed requirement fixer so you have 100% fixer not necessarily you may have 80 90% fixed or maybe later we have some progressive elaboration possible activities performed once per project you initiate it <clears throat> in kind of design it you go by phases and you close the project i have we to see many projects work like this single delivery one shot the last final delivery comes out and also you will very focused on cost you don't want to go by cost shooting up high and that's the reason we keep calculating the variance what we planned what we did where are we we keep calculating it so shiram only cost we have to focus not at all when you focus cost 
automatically it connects time automatically it connects people automatically it connects risk it has multiple factors right so cost is not the individual component it doesn't live in the vacuum it has other surrounding factors so predictive nature still exists but again the focus more will be on are we having variance how to bring it inside now next comes adaptive nature in adaptive we have branches the branches are something iterative and incremental in iterative we will have dynamic requirements requirements keep changing or adding here we focus on single delivery in the sense here also single delivery here also single delivery one delivery but we tune it until it get perfect that's why it's called as correct solution until it gets perfect the artist keep sketching up adding more colors the person who draw a picture will do a lot of corrections iteratively adding more requirements end of day the picture should reach out what he or she expected until reaching the correct solution we keep tuning it iterative possible and incremental here also the dynamic requirements however we do a smaller delivery frequency of delivery will be smaller which is possible in some projects don't think all project can do that our whatsapp can do small delivery possible amazon has a lot of small deliveries not your delivery amazon software delivery right zoom they keep upgrading themselves facebook upgrading themselves you use any websites any internet system they keep updating nowadays television itself getting upgraded in the sense it has its own software when i open the television it says it's a smart tv it will update its software so there is something called incremental delivery possible in some segment not all the segment now here the speed is important you know why speed is important because the reason for choosing incremental delivery is i don't want to wait the whole system to complete to go to the market i'll give a small chunk and let it reach the market give me some business meantime i'll get the next piece it's something like if i go to a restaurant there are a few bunch of family members the kids keep on crying or ask something the barrel first gives some puppets or some eatable as a starter when we have this next item gets ready speed to the market the barrel is able to reach with initial deliverable the customer is happy need and get the next system coming up right that's iterative incremental then what we have we have something about agile agile is combination of both iterative and incremental you look out for a correct solution you look out for speed when you do this both it becomes customer value ah oh, man that's pretty interesting right yeah quite interesting that it's going to have both in place how both will work both will work because you know repeatedly getting details and also deliver a small chunk to get the feedback on the feedback again you do correction so it will be iteratively and incrementally you deliver value that's why agile is coming up very handy then comes the last one hybrid in a hybrid you combine all i see many people have this question about hybrid oh man how to do hybrid you don't have to do great research on that already you are doing lot of projects hybrid let's take example of your pmp exam as a project let's take pmp exam as a project you do that in hybrid model believe me you already doing in hybrid model certain things you know in advance for which you made a proper planning certain things you are not aware you kept it open i will do plan i will do iteratively i will do incrementally i believe me you are doing it without your knowledge of doing that but same thing if you want to implement in a major project that's become little more in little bit depth little more information right that's a hybrid model so hybrid we'll talk more that's interesting good enough so what you learned now you learned something predictive adaptive hybrid right before even that you understood the complexity mm -hmm. requirements desired certain things technical factors design something on top of that you learned a degree of changes right degree of changes and uh, frequency of delivery this decides most of the project model but again i'll always tell this last word you cannot as a performing organization you cannot decide which methodology most of the time customer requirements decides if customer says i want it frequent delivery we have to go for it if customer says don't disturb me i'll give the requirements give me at one shot we'll go for it 
or a mix of both can happen it's all purely in the customer now how the customer decides customer decides on the market trend end of day what is market market is end user end user is who you and me so you and me decide what is needed in the model in the market if i ask my parents they were not so urgent in getting anything they're fine they they'll ask they'll deliver they'll ask it that's it ask and wait for it but we are not like that right we order a food in a zomato or a swiggy you order the food the moment you order the food you want it immediately you amazon order you do in amazon order you keep checking every day when i'll get it when i'll get it so you and me are forcing this methodology in the market it is not somebody pmi says it's not agile alliance says it's not somebody in the different institute says no it's all you and me when we are urgent on something when we want the highest standard of quality we are the one enforcing this model in the market great good enough uh, let's see some more topic for the day here we go let's start some questions okay i have couple of questions from related to this knowledge by the way this knowledge um, before i go to the knowledge let me see some of you some of your questions i will see what's happening okay okay some of the chat messages going up here um okay 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 good is a good amount of chat messages right let me read through that um there is a question on the board which you saw some time um i would ask you to see if you can answer this question in a sense of um uh getting that in the model of predictive or adaptive model that is methodology based question right let's see your answers what i do is i'll keep share again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay okay here we go okay here um the let, let me see your answers keep posting your answers uh let me see what you think about, about this question how it is in this question i want you to read as uh, how an organization look a project like this or if you are a team member how do you look at this project because when you read the first sentence james is part of a team you may be the james or you may be part of the team it doesn't mean always you have to think yourself as project manager that too with the recent pmp books uh, they are not talking only for the project manager they're also focusing on the team more so you have to be a little flexible enough to understand i can be part of the team so what we will do right okay let me see some of your answers uh and tell me what is a keyword you see out of this mm 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 okay 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 i can see answers coming up i can see answers coming up okay okay i can see some of the putting keywords high level of changes is a keyword that's what the keyword i'm seeing there in the chat look at this project this project is talking about uh, james is part of a team which is actively working in a city development project we don't know what they didn't describe is it on a technology based development infrastructure based development road works are happening they didn't explain more but they given a detail that a city based development happening the team wanting to respond to high level of changes be very careful team wanting to respond to high level the moment you see responding to high level of changes not reacting or blocking responding to changes the moment you see that your brain will start thinking this is not the usual way of project management right and let me let me uh, put a line for you in the sense of uh, okay i feel this sentence is pretty interesting sentence by responding to high level of changes and involve ongoing participation so with this you should get a clue so what clue you are getting when you see the word ongoing participation what is your what, what is your brain telling 
a thing from a common man when it is ongoing with the topic what you learned in our last 20 minutes i spoke about iterative incremental i spoke about adaptive nature whenever you see the word ongoing participation by interested parties it means stakeholders stakeholders are going to give something ongoing so what do you think about it what 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 kind of wording will match up here will it be iterative will it be incremental will it be predictive what what happens in your mind just be very common let me see your chat message uh -huh. i'm watching a chat message in youtube let's see some says adaptive okay some says keyword is high level of changes okay okay i'm seeing that seeing that okay great great see i'm seeing the answers are started coming up the key message here is the moment you say respond to change it is not going to be the traditional model that we understood and there is something going to be ongoing changes going to happen okay it is somewhere focusing us to move in one line not in multiple lines be clear now before even you go to the right answer let us attract the pmp attack the pmp exam like this in pmp exam usually when they give a question definitely there will be a keyword in the question i believe me there will be definitely one keyword and also every answer choice you will have one or two you eliminate just like this this is the reason i'm telling pmp is a easy exam it's not a tough exam it's an easy exam the moment you know the keyword the moment you know how to eliminate you will solve a lot of easy i mean tough questions now i want you to tell me two answers which you want to eliminate here after reading the word high level of changes after reading the word ongoing participation please eliminate two answers don't go to the right answer immediately please eliminate can i see your chat which two you want to eliminate straight away you'll tell this is not going to be the answer okay i'm seeing answers coming up one says i will eliminate c and d directly i don't want waterfall i don't want predictive okay waterfall predictive two things are right away moved out pretty good great now that's that's a good one you people did it okay okay that's interesting now now right good most of you got the answer now c and d it's good right now your your brain is pretty clear i'm not going to do change based in waterfall i'm not going to do change based in predictive well and good now two answers are targeted answer is a and b now in this a and b shriram how to choose a right answer now let's go back to the question the team wanting to respond to high level of changes and involve ongoing participation do you see in this question anywhere they're talking about long term plan they're talking about some predictive nature some portion of predictive nature right if you see anything like that then your brain should think can i go for a hybrid if you don't see such kind of word mentioned anywhere and they're not talking anything about predictability here they're just telling that change is going to happen and participation from the people going to happen it shows more of involvement from the people rather showing some portion will be plan driven some portion will be change driven there is no sentence given here if that's the case shall we target answer b rather going to a if i answer answer yes you can go to the answer b which is of adaptive nature right i saw most of you made the right answers but initially i saw some of them went to the answer a why you would have gone with a is chances are the moment you saw city development project your brain would have thought could be mostly of construction oriented work chances are a lot of nature of prediction can be there predictive work can be there possible some people would have thought that way also the message here is we don't know we didn't they didn't explain you full deep what kind of work it is they just give city development so chances are it may be something technology based also we don't need to say that it's only construction based also the sentence says that only high level of changes an ongoing participation nothing about predictive nature spoken up here so when you read the justification change driven life cycle is also called agile adaptive life cycle flexible or change focused method it's pretty flexible method right it responds to immensely high level of changes as well as ongoing participation of different parties shiram what is this different parties could be your team members 
could be the vendor who is giving the requirements could be the sponsor could be the environmental factors city development project definitely government will involve government can say up and down lot factors can happen so this is going to be more of an adaptive nature so in this adaptive nature it makes things to be a little more flexible that's where the answer goes in gurpreet is putting a question shiram isn't it a predictive and waterfall are same life cycle almost same we have different naming conventions right predictive waterfall change driven sequential these all almost the same things used in a different different naming conventions this is all given in the answers just to make you little more think broader that's how it is okay let's move a little more one more question let's attract let's see this question now anna the project manager mm -hmm. i will allow you to read the question first Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let me see your answers justification of what keyword then we'll start the discussion don't jump to the answer immediately this is not real pmp exam so try with a keyword what you see try with a keyword let's allow our brain to think the keyword vishi is putting a question shiram what topic you will cover in the next class uh, as i said in the beginning in the comments leave what topic you want us to cover that will be taken as a consideration so they we have session in us best timing it will communicate to you okay what's the answer coming up let me see your answers behavioral good somebody got the keyword there behavior do anybody agree behavioral is a keyword behavioral is a keyword if you get the right keyword you can quickly eliminate two answers out aha uh -huh. issue yashwant says constant stable direction okay issue okay okay uh okay i i go with sudeep uh sudeep is putting a point uh, behavioral can be a keyword one of the one of the keyword okay um the sentence starting with the major behavioral issue that area is a sensitive area you have to watch out okay let's go a little more so answer starts coming out don't quickly go to the answer we will first find the keyword then we'll find the elimination technique then only you have to go to the answer make always exam question answer in this model first find the keyword based on the keyword eliminate the answer step 2 step 3 go to the direct answer right this is how you have to answer the question that will make it easy before that i always expect people to read the first sentence carefully they're telling anna the project manager the role is defined here be watchful the role is defined once it define the role many things will get clarified in exam questions always look out for is it for the manager or for the team this will give you some clue the second clue is is this incident happened happening going to happen past tense present tense future tense right so now um, the project manager of it project had a tough time moving her team on project in constant stable direction it means some wavering things are happening she couldn't move the team team in the right direction you may question come on man she is a manager right she has to move the team what's blocking her we don't know a lot of things can be there in the company because each organization has a different structure this is the reason i expect you to read the first two to three chapters of pimbox 6th edition where they talk about organization structure where they talk about project manager roles in different place something will vary we will understand more the major behavioral issue i feel this could be interesting area let's address in getting an organization to accept 
and use a project management methodology effectively see the first sentence tells some situation but second sentence is asking the major behavioral issue in getting now the sentence is slightly moving in like such a direction and they are asking you what is the major behavioral issue in organization not individual member organization to accept and use a project management methodology now again i'll tell you this is a keyword accept and use okay good with this let's start getting inside it's not an easy question i'll tell you slightly tricky use elimination technique tell me which two answers here you want to tell no way it's related to this let me throw them out any two uh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. abhishek is putting c and d i want to eliminate okay okay kushi says c and a she want to eliminate okay first i saw uh okay i'm saying i'm seeing c is getting eliminated is it is it okay great great i'm seeing multiple answers coming up okay now i'm seeing say elimination c and d now it's become a and b <laughs> okay many people are eliminating a going out of the picture and i'm also c is going out of the picture i'm seeing d is going out of the picture b is also going out of the picture oh man come on if all goes out then which one to answer <laughs> okay okay good good interesting interesting okay now read the question again carefully they are using the word uh, behavioral okay let me tell you here behavioral the moment you see the major behavioral issue getting an organization to accept the moment you see organization you will have different heads of people here it could be senior manager it could be functional manager it could be project manager getting all these guys to one track it's getting tougher that's what the message is the major behavioral issue in getting an organization to accept and use a project management methodology now the first sentence is just an information second sentence is targeting on something asking you what's the problem here they are asking you the major behavioral issue right so these guys has to come together to accept something and use it if that's a case which one you want to eliminate limited project management application do you want to focus on application i will say uh, no we are not focusing on application this is about behavioral about people about something on accepting it's not about application yeah may not be multiple boss reporting looks a little bit here in this area because they're talking about people here it may be functional managers it can be project managers so let's let's park this let's park this answer look like lack of strategy ah uh, yeah can be but the strategy is little above than this right strategy is all about talking how the revenue of the company will go high how the goodwill of the company will go high we're talking something above but here the issue is not about strategy it's about after strategy we frame the program after program we frame the project something doing in that level they're talking about project management level not above that so when you say above that uh, lack of strategy may not be the answer here in order you get policies and procedures okay this is also a little tricky answer here uh, when you talk about behavioral policy and procedures may not strike that directly it may be indirectly so i do have a doubt on this answer now uh, let's look at this b and d goes away because of the behavioral and organizational factors whereas a competition can be a and c now in this a and c using this behavioral issues and people making decision now tell me what can be the answer mm. after this now tell me what can be the answer uh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay okay so now i'm seeing answers are getting towards c i'm seeing dev is giving a justification the reporting of teams may be to the functional manager that is why it is tougher for her to make the team and project stable direction okay it's not only this question asking anna's situation the question is a slightly moving and asking the major behavioral issue in getting an organization to accept 
and the answer will go to multiple boss reporting structure which is nothing but you know the matrix organization model where you have multiple people having a control on a organization now if let's read the question again here the major behavioral issue in getting an organization to accept and use a project manager methodology effectively is multiple boss reporting right so now this is not an easy straight question i pulled out this question to show that the question looks not with much clarity but at the same time within 1 minute 20 seconds how can i get it the clue is the moment they talk about behavioral pattern you have to look for answer which is purely on the people oriented you should not look for an answer which talks about application your answer should not talk about policies your answer should not talk about strategy you should talk about people do you consider boss as a people do you consider hmm? do you consider boss as a people it is a common man right like you and me so the moment you see something on the emotional factors or something on uh, people related be watchful in the answer any word targeting it but shiram it's not relevant and open here man it's very tough yes chances are some questions go tougher here uh, but for that reason only i'm expecting you to please read the last sentence of the question little more carefully which will have some keywords there and then start eliminating chances are you may get closer to that right i will not tell the method what i said is the best in the world but chances are by elimination you may come out that's a point here right right great good yeah pradeep you're right great job are you learning something are you getting something information here today ah oh, that's good 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 okay one more question maybe one other question for the day we will hit it and then we'll come to q and a to listen to your questions okay let's go one more question ha bu 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 read this question mm 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 the most difficult decision for an executive sponsor to make at end of phase review meeting okay okay right um see these questions i don't think you have to go so much deep to understand the keywords it's only one sentence <laughs> what happened you know in pap exams after you do lot of analysis of all the question even for simple question you will start seeing each word <laughs> that's a human nature but these are not that hard question straight question but what i want you to understand is there is something called phase based reviews um there is something called gate phase gates in the gate they do something called kill point sometime kill board to understand do i need to really proceed or stop the project i believe some of you have done that right in your projects you have done that do i need to proceed or stop shiram i didn't do man i'm just a manager i'm not a sponsor maybe at least you heard from the sponsor can we uh continue the contract or stop the contract have you heard that yeah if you heard that that's almost the same what we're discussing here the most difficult decision for an sponsor not for you for the sponsor and the end of the phase to do what so now they're asking something difficult difficult means quickly your brain should understand this is the actual keyword difficult the moment a difficult means something either to do or die that's a decision you understand right the keyword is difficult means something do or die if there is a do or die first to go for the elimination technique what is elimination technique allow the project to proceed to the next phase based upon the original objectives okay okay allow the project to proceed on the next phase based on revised objective revised original okay before i jump to the answer can somebody tell me which two things you want to eliminate because we are talking difficult word sponsor end of review 
which two things you feel man no way this is not totally related totally away anybody want to say a couple of answers totally away okay santu says a and b want to throw out a and b okay a and b want to throw out a or b oh sorry it's answer okay tell me two things you want to eliminate first let's use elimination technique dev says a and c to be eliminated okay usually in exam i have a habit of reading answers from the bottom okay from the bottom let me read c allow the project to proceed upon the revised objective okay okay it's getting removed and uh, postpone making a decision until more information process this is something wrong right you cannot keep postponing as a sponsor uh, you cannot keep postponing also question is not asking about that question asking about difficult decision okay now after striking out a and c now we have two answers cancel the project allow the project now in this tell me which is a cutthroat and which is a so difficult one i know you guys will tell that hey allow the project to proceed original objective okay is this a tough one ah i think dev is putting an answer here this is a happy situation for whom sponsor will be happy right go for las vegas have a good time hey guys original objective you guys are working nothing to worry cool let me go to las vegas right but for a sponsor canceling is a most painful thing why canceling is painful shriram see the sponsor man he or she they want the project to win they don't want to see a project to lose if they put this close now what happened the money whatever is spent it goes to sunk cost have you heard about a sunk cost the money gone that's it your strategy of money of maybe 1 million or 2 million it's gone right what's the purpose of doing this business imagine the project crossed let's say five phases you have spent around 2 million dollars in the project now putting this down is it's crazy even if it is the first phase it's tough see your project does not start just like that you know we do a business case analysis uh, we do uh, poc is proof of concept we have to sign a contract we have to recruit people we have to we have to convert that strategy into doable something which took a lot of efforts and time by canceling this you go two years backward she have said two years yeah see why a project comes in a company want to overtake in the market let's say google want to come with the automated cars they trying it for a long time now amazon has acquired another company which is working in automated cars now imagine amazon start progressing they put 1 billion dollar some at least last year in the covid season they put 1 billion dollar to come with the automated cars in the middle of that they are cancelling and sponsoring it they go backward right google will overtake them easily i'm i'm just giving some example of what i read in the papers chances are google can overtake so what your business strategy goes down you lose the market value your share will drop down so cancelling project is a painful thing for a person okay one thing so uh, somebody can ask me you know what is this man revised objective this is also painful right come on guys if somebody want to say that this is a painful i agree but it is not as pain as this one because they using the word difficult decision it's a difficult decision isn't it so uh, when you answer the question be a little careful on the keyword which is they stressing the word the most difficult look at here not least one most difficult when i want to make this decision it's paining me man to the core when i understand from the sponsor's perspective i would tell b can be an answer do you agree b and k be an answer now right right great good 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 to see good to see great putting lot of words i'm seeing most of you making right answers i appreciate that oh man i have one more question i thought that was last question okay let's see one more question you know what through questions we learn faster even though certain questions you may seen before still uh, more than reading the books understanding the concepts through questions your brain works really well okay let's hit one more maybe this is the last question um read this question after we discussed the three questions now your brain is pretty sharp tell me first a keyword then tell me the elimination then tell me the right answer step 1 2 3
Step one, two, three. Let me see your step one. Show me the step one, what do you see? Two, two, two. Mm -hmm. I'm watching a chat message. Step one, step one, Dave says step one, um, after steps one after another. Okay, that's a keyword, okay, for him, okay. Okay, phases, one after the other. Okay, very good. I'm seeing people watching out the keywords. After meeting with the several subject matter experts, SMEs, okay, this is SME, SME. The project manager, so you can see a role here, be watchful. I, I used to tell that whenever you see, is it about a manager or a team? Okay, that gives some clue for you. Determines that, determine some decision has been made that the project phases will need to occur one after the other. What project life cycle is the project manager using? They're asking this person is using. Okay, now, Okay, I think most of you got the uh, step one. Step one is occurs one after the other. Get a keyword and settle with the keyword. Okay, <laughs> you know, why you may settle with the keyword. Many people have this confusion. They'll have two, three more keywords. They can't settle down, which is the right keyword. So this comes out of experience and reading habits. The moment you read the question, you'll get this is a strong keyword. You have to decide, right? Somewhere you have to decide. So that decision is up to you. Decide this is a strong keyword, settle there. That's a step one. Now, step two, let's go to step two. Can you use elimination technique? Throw out the two items, throw out the two items. I'm seeing answers here. Danish says he want to throw out B and C. B and C, okay. Okay, any more, any more answers here? Let me look at a chat message. Any more? Anybody want to eliminate something? A and B, okay. I'm hearing somebody says A and B to be eliminated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go from the bottom here. Of course, I saw many telling D to be eliminated. Incremental, nothing we're doing here. The option is asking about life cycle, project life cycle. Okay, and uh, are we talking something here in a repetitive fashion? Repetitive fashion, that's also not happening. So if you remember, iterative means then we want to attain the single delivery at the same time repeatedly getting the requirements and clarity. That is what we talk about. But we are not talking about that. We are talking about a one after the other. That is one completes and next one comes out. It's going in order, in a order. I, I want to tell the English word further. I use the word order. It is going in a sequential way. This is a nothing but predictive model. This can be nothing but waterfall model. This can be nothing but plan driven approach plan driven approach shiram you're giving multiple names man that is how the market is right in fact the books written in 1970s they didn't use the word waterfall they used the word sequential approach later somebody framed the word called waterfall still no clue who framed it so sequential is one after the other um, this is a model which we uh, utilized in it industry in 1960s on or 1970s on even before that, people are following this in a sequential model. This is a not a tough question, but if you observe carefully, you will get the keyword occurs, occurs. Occurs means one phase of requirement gathering completes, then go to the next phase of designing it, next phase of doing the work, and last phase of maybe testing it. Yeah, one after the other, right? So the answer goes to sequential. Okay, I'm seeing Dave says iterative. No, Dave, it may not be iterative, right? We are talking about sequential. Look at the justification. There are three series of projects life cycle within the basic framework of managing projects. One is sequential, iterative, uh, overlapping. In a sequential life cycle, one phase must finish before the next phase can begin. Perfect, perfect, good. Okay, hope that helps you all with some details. I know I have beat a little extra time, but worth it if you got some information.
Okay, good. Let's listen to some of your Q and A. Oh, by the way, uh, if anybody want to listen to the classes, April 17th, we have online classes where you can join us and listen for your PMP examinations. Right, let me quickly see your question and answer here. Uh, maybe I missed some of your questions. If you want to retype it or copy paste it, I can help out. At the same time, leave your comments, which topic you want to listen for the next Friday, right? This is gonna be Friday sessions, Friday or happy day, right? We'll have some sessions, we'll talk about uh, new topics. Bring up some topic which you want to listen. So today what we've spoken up is, we have discussed about methodology uh, which to choose. Of course, that's a big core topic that we went a little uh, deeper to understand what is the complexity and what is the uh, complicated level, what is a simple level based on which how do you design. We also saw that based on the changes, based on the degree of changes, based on the frequency of delivery, we decide. And that's how it works, right? And I also gave one clue for you. Changes does not happen just like that. Changes in some industries it's expensive. The scrap cost is expensive. Redoing the work is expensive. So changes are limited there. That is a reason we have CCB, Change Control Board. If somebody argue that, man, agile world, no changes can go to CCB. They say that, no, that's not designed that way. It depends on the industry. Some industries are expensive. You can't do that again. It's very expensive. Right? You have to be very careful. Let's say there is a, um, a NASA want to launch a rocket satellite. You cannot change just like that, man. One change will cost a huge money. Human loss, lot of stuff. We have to be very careful on what you do. A doctor doing a surgery. You can't change just like that, right? Overnight. Okay, this surgery, tomorrow that surgery. No, you have to be careful on what you do. Some industry changes are not expensive. Changes are doable. Underline it, doable. Technology supports you. So you being a manager tomorrow as a senior manager, portfolio manager, director, sponsor, project director, be watchful. What is the necessity of the project? And what is the degree of change? What is the uh, delivery model based on that we'll decide. So you expect some questions and examination on this area, be prepared. Okay. Right, let's quickly see some of your questions also where I can help out, right? So what I do is I'm going to bring out to see the questions. Okay, Ravi says morning tea with the classes are good. <laughs> That's interesting, Ravi. Thanks for that. First of all, I want to thank people who came for the classes because uh, it's not easy to, this is a holiday, right? Friday is a holiday in India now, the Good Friday. So people want to spend with their time with the family, still we came for the session, I appreciate it. Um, okay, emotional intelligence. Dave says there's a topic, please put emotional intelligence. Uh, Dave, maybe I'll miss the chat message. Uh, can you put in the comments so that the team can help out and sort out the list of topics where we can help out. Thanks Dave, by the way, I appreciate it. By the way, chat is one area. You can also put in the comments, which will help me to see back and come to the subject. Definitely take it, emotional intelligence. Um, Okay, okay. Okay, there is a topic about Danish talking, corrective and preventive action. Okay, fine. Uh, that can be a topic, but quickly I give a heads up. Uh, corrective, preventive options, right? Preventive, I think the word explains, will be in advance stopping certain things going to happen. We know anticipate this is going to happen. Uh, maybe there could be a budget failure. We may not get the fund or maybe the requirement details are not clear, which can stop our work. Resources unavailable for the next two iterations or releases, it's going to be trouble. So we start preventing actions there. But how do you do that? Do the variance comparison of what we thought, what's happening, and that can give some clue for anticipating. It all makes of things, right? Corrective is something has happened, defect. It's a problem, man. I took, I took something uh, to press the button, it's not working. You have to correct it, fix it, fix the problem, different, bug, right? Anyway, it'll take us a class for that. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, okay, great. Let me see some more. Is there any more questions I can help or maybe I have to scroll up to see your questions. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Okay, you're free to put a question for an exam. Let me try to answer it. Right, good. Good, 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 good. Good. Okay, Pradeep spoke about matrix organization. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Fine. For the exam perspective, one other important information to you is when you practice your practice exams, please practice on the same time when you're going to write the real exam. Why, Shiram? I see some people, they write the exam um, uneven time, odd time. I know that's what they get if there is a mom having a little kid. She can't be all the time available, right? She has to, she has to adjust the time what is available. If that's the case, I'm fine. But if not, if you're planning your exam as an 8 a.m. in the morning, center-based or maybe proctor-based, your practice exam shall also happen on the same time. Why? Because your biological clock will work well. Your mindset will work well. And close all the doors. Keep yourself calm, composed. Before the exam, 10 minutes, sit calm. Breathe well. Compose yourself. I'm taking one of the exam. I'm going to show my consistency. Do self-talk for a few minutes. When people think wrong about me, if I do self-talk, not at all. Self-talk is very common in sports. So do that for your uh, exam purpose and write that exam in a composed way. How I did years back. I planned my exam by 8 a.m. in a center base. Those days online was not there. So every alternate day, exactly 8 o'clock is my exam at home. I mean, practice exam. 7.45, I'll go to the room and lock all the doors. Keep it pin drop silent. No mobile, nothing. Keep quiet. 10 minutes, just sit, sit calm. Just sit calm. Allow my brain to be calm down. And 8 o'clock, I'll start the exam. Those days, four-hour exam continuously. No break. Right? Luckily now, not luckily. Okay, by the way, these days, exams are every 60 questions, they're giving 10 minutes break. Man, you are blessed like anything. And that's why telling PMP is not tough. PMP is an easy exam to do when you do a systematic approach. Sit for 60 questions, stand up, 10 minutes break, compulsory take it. Take a sip of water, go to washroom, come back. Again, take the next 60 questions, another break. Again, 60 questions, the exam is over. Just walk in, come with your PMP certificate, right? Okay, thanks, Sudeep. I can see thanks coming up. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, there's a question from Sandeep. Maybe our next 10 minutes, I'll take questions. Then we'll wind up for the day. Um, Sandeep is putting a question. Can an organization change the strategy year on year? Usually, the strategies are framed for four to five years. Long strategy. Companies also will have a long-term goal, mid-term goal, short-term goal, like what you and me have. We have, right? For the family, I have to do something long-term goal. You have something for next two years goal, next one year goal. Same way they have it. But the question he's asking is the strategy can be changed. It is not recommended. But some companies are doing it, which can derail the projects which you planned based on the strategy which you firm last year. It will shake the whole system. Worst case, that strategy will not work. Then they will change it. If not, it is not recommended to change the strategy frequently, which can shake your organization, right? Kushi is putting a topic, manage conflict. Okay, I got two topics. I'll note it down. Okay. Uh, by the way, kindly put in the comment also so that we don't miss it. Chat, we usually miss it. Put in the comment also. Uh, Vignesh is putting, to what extent will Pimbox 6 edition will lose relevance once new edition is out? Fantastic question. I think, Vignesh, you read about the article. August 1st, Pimbox 7th edition is coming. Okay, great. One thing we have to be very careful. PMI is launched the PMBOK 6th edition, same PMI only launching 7th edition. So they will not be totally irrelevant. If they do that, it's contra for them itself, right? You lose a value, right? If I say something yesterday, today I say something else, you will doubt on my credibility. So PMI will not do like that. Also, the world of project management for last 4,000, 5,000 years does not change upside down. It is the same model. There should be some money. There should be some people. There should be some work to do. There should be some risk. This is all always there. Nothing changes. Only the proportion changes. The way we look slightly changes. So to answer your question, it will not totally become irrelevant. 
but the way they organize the content is going to definitely change seventh edition will have a minimal content they will not elaborate too much one thing pmi understood is people are not liking too much of content people want only 50 pages to read and clear the exam <laughs> it's not only for the exam right pimbuck seventh edition or sixth edition is for the whole world who want to learn management so they they will keep it minimum at the same time they will not totally go irrelevant so pimbuck sixth edition will be always useful to understand some of the concepts very deep inside whereas seventh edition to my belief may cover some of the high level information which is needed I still believe they will have a connection from 7th to 6th telling that refer 6th for these topics. Rest read here, possibly. Okay, great. So now to answer you, Vignesh, again, um, PMP exam is not based on PMBOK. Informing you, it's not based on PMBOK. It is something based on exam content outline, which is referring to 10 books of management, which we can read through. Okay, Rajesh putting a question. With the PMP class, can I appear for CAPM or should I go separately for CAPM? Beautiful question. CAPM is an entry-level management studies for the people who just come out of the college. Now, PMP subject is a big coverage. If somebody listen the PMP session, is enough sufficient to clear CAPM. As such, in the industry, CAPM classes are very less happening. The CAPM people will also listen with the PMP students. Whereas when they prepare for the examination, the intensity level will be slightly low. It won't be that intense like PMP. So answer the question, yes, you can listen to the PMP sessions, clear your CAPM. Well, good. Fantastic, great. Good, uh, I think we're top of the time. Uh, once again, thanks all for participating today. And uh, this topic came up as per your request. And again, for the next week topic, we'll decide based on what the team is asking in the comment section. So leave your comments of what topic you want to listen from us. We'll prepare and present for you. But before giving a topic, please go and see the 36 task of PMI because we should not talk something away, right? So it should be within this 36 task. We'll be happy to help you. Now we do have a session of a full batch of all covering as an online session but still we feel to help people to listen to this free sessions so that you get the relevance of the subject because they listen to the class, after they come out of the class, they'll forget the subject. So listening to this kind of brush up can help you, right? Thanks all for participating. Thanks for being here. You'll get all this collection of things in our YouTube channel. We also have a WhatsApp group or a Telegram where we post every day a few questions for answering and discussing. So participate with us, learn it. Once again, I'll tell you, PMP is an easy exam. It's not tough. Only thing, you need a systematic approach. Somebody to tell you, walk in this path. That is what needed, right? Be with us. We'll help you declare PMP. You all will have the suffix of PMP soon with you. Congratulations and good wishes. Thanks for participating.